Welcome, everyone. We're here tonight to send forth our eighth graders from St. Bridget's School. You have re many role models, boys and girls, from our Catholic faith as you embark on the next phase of your lives. John Paul II said, remember that you are never alone. Christ is with you on your journey every day of your lives. Pope Francis said, dear young people, please don't be observers of life, but get involved. Jesus did not remain an observer, but he immersed himself. Don't be observers, but immerse yourself in the reality of life as Jesus did. And Mother Teresa said, be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. We can't wait to see where the Holy Spirit leads you from, from here on out. Let us place ourselves in the presence of God as we begin our graduation mass. Our opening song tonight is Here I Am, Lord. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I'd like to welcome everyone as we gather for the eighth grade graduation mass. We ask God's special graces upon our graduates. We welcome all family and friends who are, who are gathered here tonight. So as we uh, come together in prayer, let's uh, pause now and open our hearts to God's uh, mercy and forgiveness as we uh, celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, Christ, have Christ, have Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. For I know well the plans I have in mind for you, oracle of the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for woe, so as to give you a future of hope. When you call me and come and pray to me, I will listen to you. When you look for me, you will find me. Yes, when you seek me with all your heart, I will let you find me, oracle of the Lord, and I will cha change your lot. I will gather you together from all the nations and all the places to which I have banished you, oracle of the Lord, and bring you back to the place from which I have exiled you. The word of the Lord. Praise 
Thanks be to God. St. Paul to the Colossians. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom, and teach you and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you, just as you have you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. 
I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them. And they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those you have given me, because they are yours and everything of mine is yours and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am going to you. The Gospel of the Lord. I feel very blessed this evening. I was uh, given the opportunity to speak to you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on this graduation day, a very special occasion. I've been here the longest with you, uh, I think four years, and the other two priests have been here two years, so uh, I was voted I would speak to you for a few moments tonight. I'm overjoyed to do so. And congratulations first to everybody who was confirmed last night, and congratulations to Everybody that are, uh, all you who are graduating tonight, it's a great uh, occasion. We're very happy for you. We're so excited. Next step in your journey after this, like Mrs. Toldo said in the beginning, it's just a a great joy to to be with you. And you guys have learned so much at St. Bridget's here, countless things. You've learned different things about friends or people in your life. You've learned different things and subjects. Um, You've learned the five Bs. Does everybody have those memorized now? the five Bs of St. Bridget. It took me a very long time to memorize them, and I don't even have them all memorized right now too well, so I'm just going to read them. Be caring, be fair, be respectful, be responsible, and be trustworthy. So hopefully you've learned these beautiful virtues, these gifts, and you'll be able to take those with you and practice them in your lives as you go forward. And with the permission of Mrs. Toldo, I'd like to just add three more Bs tonight to just reflect on real briefly. And uh, hopefully you can, I I think we've learned from these three things too, and you can take them with you as you go forward onto your next step as well. And the first one is just uh, be joyful. Be joyful and be happy as you go forward. I think you've hopefully learned that at St. Bridget's. I don't know if you guys know, but when we, us priests, greet you in the morning when you're dropped off or greet you at recess or in your classroom or in the hallway or just stop by the school, in general for different things. We do that because you guys give us great joy. St. Bridges is a beautiful place, a happy place, a joyful place. And we go there because we experience a joy. We can can catch it from you guys. And we also go there to show you our joy as well. And it's been such a blessing, such a blessing to share joy at St. Bridges with all of you. If you look at uh, Psalm 30, it says, Rejoicing comes in the morning. St. Paul says to the Philippians, Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. We should always be happy. There's difficult things you're all going to go through as you go forward and challenges as you go on to the next step in your life. But there's never a reason to keep that joy from exuding in your life. Or nothing should steal our joy in our life. It should be right within, within us. One of my favorite saints, uh, Blessed Columban Marmion, he had a great line. He said, joy, joy is the echo of God's life within us. So if we have God within us, God with us all the time, we can always be happy and perpetually joyful, even in the midst of difficult times in our life. So I encourage you, I hope you learned that at St. Bridget's, that you've experienced joy, you've experienced happiness, and you can bring that with you when you go forth from this beautiful school. The second thing I was just thinking about, the second B would be, be a hard worker. This has been a tough year, a very tough year for everybody. We had had to learn online a little bit last year, even some more online this year. Um, Difficult challenges along the way that you guys all had to do, tests, studying, all these different things. But it's all helped you to get better, to grow in life. It's a beautiful gift to have hard work. I'm sure your parents can relate to this and your grandparents and all the adults here, but when I was growing up, my parents said, nothing will ever be handed to you on a silver platter. Does anybody ever remember that? Nothing will be handed to you on a silver platter. 
Good hard work helps us grow intellectually. It helps us grow uh, in certain skills. It helps us develop the gifts that we have. It helps us grow as a person. So hard work is good. Challenge, challenges are good. I was talking to a freshman at Boylan the other day, and she said that her experience here at St. Bridget's really helped her to do well at Boylan. She's doing a great job because she was blessed with wonderful teachers here, a wonderful environment to learn, and she's developed over the years that she spent here. So hard work is good. It helps you. And I just want to encourage you to continue to stretch yourself, stretch your hearts, give yourself, give yourself like Christ wants you to give in this life. Develop those skills and keep giving your heart in many different ways with all the beautiful gifts that you guys all have. The last thing I just wanted to share was, uh, so be happy, be joyful, be a hard worker as you go forward. But hopefully, uh, this is the most important thing, is be holy, holy, be holy, be holy. I was at a graduation ceremony about, uh, it was about six or seven years ago at a, at a Catholic school as well, and it was for high schoolers. And one of the boys who gave the valedictorian speech, he said, you guys have learned so much at this school. You've learned a lot of things about your friends. You've learned this, that, and the other. You've played a lot of sports together. You've had good times together. But hopefully the most important thing you learned was to have a relationship with God, a relationship with Christ. And it's so beautiful that we have a school here that you attended a school that has God at the center, that God is at the center of this school. And as we know, there's many schools out there that you won't have God at, uh, God at the center, that he's not always at the center. But we have Christ right at the center here at this school. One of the great privileges as a priest and the staff and teachers here at St. Bridges is that we were able to continually let you know that you're loved by God and continually encourage you to love God as well in your life. We prayed at the opening bell. Uh, you prayed in your classrooms. You went to the Adoration Chapel, not this year, but many other times. You studied the faith. We taught you different things in the classrooms about God. You learned about who Jesus was. And you went to Mass often, every day, for a long time until this past year. All, this, all of this helped you to grow in your relationship with Christ. At least I hope so. It should. He's the most important thing about the school. Remember the bishop last night, he, he, everybody applauded, and he said, we, we don't just applaud you to feed your ego or whatever thing, anything like that. We, we applaud you because we want to encourage you and support you because we want you one day to be in heaven. That's the most important thing, hopefully, that was taken here from St. Bridget's, to be holy, to unite ourselves with Christ and grow with him day in and day out. So I want to continually encourage you guys to deepen your faith with Christ. Remember last year I taught you about the covenants in class? Does anybody remember the definition of a covenant? No, I won't put you on the spot right now, but remember what I said, that basic, simple definition, an exchange of hearts. We give our heart to Christ. He's always giving his heart to us. So class of 2021, we're so, we're so very proud of you. We thank all your parents, your support that you've had over the years, your teachers, Mrs. Tolo, Tolo, all the staff. And we thank you all the graduates for being a beautiful part of each one of our lives. I know you've really touched me in many different ways. I know you've touched Monsignor and Father Grismer, all the teachers in countless ways. We love you. We're going to miss you. But we know that you're going to do good work in the future. Good work for, for God. Good work for building up his kingdom. So I encourage you as you go forth, always be happy, always be joyful, always be a hard worker, and always seek to be holy. That's the recipe to being a great saint. So God bless you all. And congratulations.
Please stand. Trusting God, we now lift up our prayers and our, and our needs. We pray for Holy Mother Church, that in the season of Easter, in this time prior to, the, to Pentecost, that she would be filled with the Holy Spirit and lead her children in the light of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, those of our own nation, those of our world, that their own hearts would be converted to Christ and they may proclaim Jesus as Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our graduates, that as they go forth from St. Bridget, they themselves may live a holy life inspired by the Holy Spirit in the path that Christ has laid out for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jesus, we ask that you would keep safe all of our graduates and all of their families and those who can't be with us tonight in person, that you'd continue to grant us nourishment in our bodies, our souls, and our spirits. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, that you, Jesus, would be the healer and you would send the Holy Spirit to be their comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all of those who have died, especially those of our own families, that you, Jesus, would receive them into the kingdom of peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Holy God, we come before you now with all our prayers and needs, those spoken aloud, those within our hearts. Please grant these that they be of your will, through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, and all you've created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries, these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which should be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. He proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Bridget, Saint Patrick, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. In this sacrifice of a reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom we have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord's peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. In remembrance of me, feed the poor. 
in remembrance of me. Open the door and let your brother in. Let him in. Take, eat, and be Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Monsignor Knox, I present to you the class of 2021 of St. Bridget's School for the awarding of diplomas. Ariana Lisbeth Artiega. Torin James Blake. Madeline Rose Bullhouse. Alexander Cardenas. Abigail Ann Clark. Aiden Severio Coletti. Yal Mariano Huevas. Matthew Aaron Dickman. Matthew Benjamin Dolan. Shane Michael Dotson. Joseph Gaetano Fiorenza. Giovanni Nino Graceffa. Allison Reese Jaramillo. Reese Elizabeth Conley. Megan Helene Larson. Stephanie Pearl Lewandowski. Gabriella Yvonne Mace. Renaya Martasia Marks. Giovanni Francesco Mazzarisi. Anthony Vincent Michelli. Piper Grace Murray. Tommy Thean Nyo. Abraham Augustine Parsons. Holly Ann Rain Ports. Elizabeth Dale Rolando. Owen Reed Scandroli. Lily Claire Shields. Maddox Matthew Slaybaugh. Preston Stephen Strasser. Kirsten Louise Texan. Gabriel William Trainter. Alinka Flase. Eric Zachary Williams. Cruz Imelda Zepeda. Monsignor Knox, Father John, Father Grismer, Parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends, I present to you the graduating class of St. Bridget's School 2021. Graduates, please move your tassels to the left. Students can just be seated just for a moment. And may 
congratulations to you on this uh, very, very significant moment. And just a, a couple words of uh, thanks, certainly to the parents here. God bless all of you and, and your role of uh, walking with your children, hanging, handing on the faith and, and uh, very important Christian values. We thank you for your presence and the grandparents here and other family members. And I also want to thank uh, Mrs. Toldo, and we have a number of our number of our faculty here tonight. So if they could just stand just for a moment, our teachers. So we thank you for your uh, for our, to our teachers. I also like to thank uh, Dan, who uh, does just a wonderful job leading our our music ministry, and uh, Jim Bertrand, who's back there in the live stream. So we. Uh, very thankful to many others could join us through the, through the live stream. And so at this time, I'd ask you all to, uh, to stand, please. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection, protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell of Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.